911, what's the nature of your emergency? Welcome back to the Talk to the Living podcast. I'm your host, Ashley Walton, joined by Detective Walton. Clint, how are you? I'm good. You know, one thing I love about you not always staying on top of what's going on in the world is that I get to share with you some crazy things that I have seen and kind of fill you in. So that's definitely what we're doing today. First, I will ask you, have you heard about the Deer Creek High School feet looking video? No, not at all. Okay, I'm going to press pause here. I'm going to show it to Clint really quick, and we're going to come right back. And we're back. Clint, tell me what you just saw. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm i kind of lost for words on this, because there's, there's kids laying on the ground, and it looks like there's adults sitting in front of them, and they're just licking their feet. Like, what the hell? Like, So there's a high school... And apparently this Deer Creek High School had this idea to do a fundraiser. And their fundraiser was in support of a company called Not Your Average Joe Coffee Shop. And they decided that as a part of this fundraiser, for some reason, it was a good idea to put a bunch of peanut butter on the adults' feet and then to have the kids get on their bellies and then lick it off. And this coffee shop, I guess they employ, um, I guess, mentally disabled people. And so that was the whole reason why they wanted to support. They actually made something crazy, like $147,000 during the entire fundraiser. I'm sure there were other components of the fundraiser. And they're getting all these calls and backlash and bad reviews online. And how could you participate in this? And they're trying to say, like, leave us alone. It's not our fault, basically. However, in my opinion... And first of all, it was so hard to be able to write show notes that were compliant because of my thoughts on this subject. So in my opinion, when you have behavior like this and you think that this is an okay and acceptable action for kids to partake in, in my opinion, this is the perfect example of grooming activity. Yeah, I mean... It's it's one of those things, like, first off, who would even come up with this idea? Let's put peanut butter on adults' feet and have kids lick, lick it off. Like, it's completely, it's, they're indoctrinating these kids to go down that route of finding feet in a, a sexual manner, and it's just very strange, like, I would I would love to see who's the person who actually had this idea to set it up and their search history on their phone. Yeah, and not only that, but I, I thought two things when I first saw this video. Number one, the first thing I thought is this is very much have this has pedophile written all over it. That's the main word that you see circulating around this video. And then the the proponents of this, the people involved in this who are trying to defend it, are trying to say how absurd it is to even use that word. There is no other way to describe the idea or the reasoning behind this type of activity. And my second thought was I I went back to when I was like in ninth grade and I I pictured myself, like physically pictured myself having to partake in something like this. It's repulsive, first of all. That's it's absolutely disgusting. I can't even fathom that. I could picture myself feeling like I was forced to have to do something like this and then going home and crying and having to tell my mom and dad. And then can you imagine my dad's behavior after hearing that I had to do something like this? Oh, I know. He would have been furious. He would have been in the office right then. And it would have been, he would have ended up getting arrested for his actions. Absolutely. And so for... Okay, so let's look at it from the side of the people who are receiving $147,000 as a byproduct of something like this. Of course, you're defending it. It's There was nothing, right? Because they want the money. That's all that that is. But when you think about the moral high ground, when you think about the right thing to do, the right thing to do would have been, okay, I didn't, maybe they didn't know that something like this was going to happen. But as soon as you are involved in something like this and you are seeing that something like this is taking place, in my opinion, the right thing to do is to put a stop to it. In my opinion, I would have called somebody like you, Officer Walton, and I would have 
explained what was happening because in the eyes of the law, in the eyes of a good parent, in the eyes of somebody who isn't a parent like myself, who just has a good moral foundation, there is no there is no proper way to say that this is okay. There's absolutely no excuse that I can even fathom to where somebody could make me understand in their light that this was something that was, oh, okay, yeah, I understand. That's fine. Yeah, it, it's one of those things. So let, let's let's step back and, and take the whole kind of foot fetish and, and the sexual gratification or, or that whole kind of mindset away and just look at it at completely face value. There's high school age kids licking the feet of adults. Like, first off, that's just disgusting. And to each their own, but that's just disgusting. Like, what what is the point to it? Like, there's there's no rationale that you can say that it's not for anything other than what we've already discussed. And these aren't even parents. So let's look at it from the other angle. If you were a parent and you part partook in this type of activity, you had your child lick peanut butter off of your feet, and that child were to report to an adult at the school, what do you think would happen? It, it, it would be referred to CFS, the cops would be called, and like, it's just, everyone there should lose their jobs. Yes. Anyone with any involvement in that incident should lose their jobs. And in my opinion, there should be further investigations into everybody whose feet was touched by the tongue of a child, everybody who is in administration. You should, I think that there should be further investigation into every single adult that felt like this was okay. This is the type of behavior that conservatives are stressing and stressing when it comes to the importance of trying to protect our children. And I think that we can bring politics into this. And the reason for that is because after the State of a Union address, I I wanted to see what the other conversation was like, apart from my own personal feelings. So of course I go on. It, it is truly like we are living in two different worlds, depending on what aisle you sit, what side of the aisle that you sit on. And it blows my mind that people's realities are so warped to where behaviors like this are being deemed as acceptable, but going deeper, they think that it's normal. This is a normal thing to do. And and that's and that comes down to that indoctrination that's instilled in these kids from early ages, from elementary school, of what's being taught to them, and and making it okay for this exact scenario to happen. And it's just it's horrible to see like that. I'm still just dumbfounded by the reality of what happened there and how there's people truly defending them in this instance. Yeah, and I really can't help but to put politics into this because in my circle, the people that we run with, these are all people who are, they do have a moral standing. They believe in the the rules of natural law. And I cannot see any anybody in our inner circle who would have ever allowed something like this to happen. I 1000% if I saw something like this, I would I would blatantly make it clear that this was not okay. I would I would make it very clear to the children that they didn't have to do this. And I it, it makes me sick to my stomach because again, I, I keep going back to the thought of when I was a kid and that type of just you feel like you have no choice when, especially when you're at school and you see the principal and the assistant principal and your proctors and your teachers and everyone, this is just what it is. This is normal, right? And so it really, in my opinion, could make a child um, so messed up in their understanding. And when you have such a vulnerable mind, we're supposed to help to condition them in a healthy way. And I I shudder to think about the long-term consequences of forcing a child to partake in this type of activity, but most importantly, to make them feel like this is okay. Because what happens when one of those online groomers sees this child goes to this high school and then they, they to me, it's like adding fuel to the fire for people who are incredibly devious and hunt people like this. Well, and, and this goes down the line of, and, and I've had these conversations at, at work and, and going down the route of 
we're seeing this trend increase and increase of the online exploitation and we're seeing that that kids are being exploited on such a higher level than they've ever been before and and that's unfortunate and now our people who are supposed to be not raising our kids but looking after them and teaching them the the knowledge of education and and of the world and they're saying, okay, let's do something fun and lick peanut butter off my feet. Like, it's just, it's just crazy. It's just, I, it, I have, I'm lost for words with it. Yeah. So we're sharing today's episode just so that we could shine the brightest light possible on this type of predatory behavior so that we could continue to build our army in the sense of us needing to say something when something like this takes place. There is nothing that these people could say that should make any of us feel like this is okay because it's just not. I hope you've gotten some value out of today's episode. If you have, do us a favor, drop a review, subscribe down below. And as always, know that I'm sending you a long, tight hug from my home to yours.